The thing about Pius XII, most people who've heard about him today think about him perhaps as, well, wasn't he the Pope who was silent on the Shoah and didn't speak out? Or wasn't he the one who was Hitler's Pope or something like that? But, and that's part of the story that we've, we've been told. But there's another part of the story which hasn't been told, which has remained underground for about uh, seven decades, and that is how Pius XII conspired with the German resistance to try and get rid of Hitler on not just one, but three occasions from 1939 to 1945. Rather than just consider what he did not say, about which billions of words have been published in, in, in English alone, I thought why not just look at what he actually did, even if it's in secret, and that took me many, many years to piece together. So for instance, we have um, Pius's letters to the German bishops during the war, where he, uh, he says, please, please do more of, of what uh, Father Lichtenberg did when he prayed for the Jews and was arrested and sent off to Dachau and died. The Holy Father said that's exactly the kind of manly actions which I'm hoping German Catholics will undertake. We've forgotten what it's like to live directly in the face of radical evil such as happened in, in Nazi Germany in World War II. And the choices that were then made by Catholics, um, some Jesuit priests who went to the gallows for their um, complicity in plots to remove Hitler, the adventures of Josef Mueller, this ace of papal spies, a German lay agent, and the courage shown by the Holy Father Pope Pius XII himself are great ways of reminding us the heroism that human beings are capable of. <laughs>